Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification gang, guy squad. It's what it is, man. It's, it's raining out here, man, out here in Fairfield today, so, you know, I'm a little bundled up. But um, I'm here making this video because I've watched the video via Fight Hub then the boxing voice shout out to the fight hub shout out to the boxing voice subscribe to their channel hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time they hit y'all with some hot shit and i was watching wilder train and i've been watching like i said i've been watching wilder train for a very long time and it has actually came to me and i've come to a final conclusion that wilder needs a better trainer Period. I, I can't even too much put these things off all on Wilder. I really put it on his team. Because I believe, I believe clearly, seriously. Check the channel too. For all the people that's going to doubt me, check my channel. Look at my whole channel. Everything on my channel. Not just the, um, the videos that I like music, the music wise or whatever. Look at all my video uploads. Look at all of them. Before y'all speak judgment on what I'm finna say right now. Give me six months. Let me train Wilder for six months. Three months to try to get that shit in his head. Three months so it'll be muscle fucking memory. Give me six months. And I guarantee you. And, and Wilder say this shit, this fight shit is easy now. He give me six months. Let me train him for six months. Nobody would beat Wilder. Nobody. 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 Not Joshua. Nobody. Bullshit you not. Nobody. Because what I saw. Watching him hit the mitts. And training. Shadow boxing and everything. I saw the holes. But I saw that the holes were fillable. And I saw that he's been fighting away this whole time. And he's saying how he's been getting better at this. He's been working on this. And I saw little specks of shit where it was like, oh, what he's doing is he's seeing fighters like Lomachenko and any other good fighter and hearing about what they do well. And he's like, you know, I could do that shit, too. He's not being taught these things. He's not being taught how to put angles. He's not taught how to throw the hook better how to throw the right hand better he's not being taught that and i don't think that's because he's not willing to learn it i really think in wilder's case he he don't have the right person around him to to make that happen and i believe i'm not just saying me i'm saying anybody i'm saying i could do it and if i know i could do it i'm sure somebody in the in the boxing world that could do it for wilder could make him to where it's like he's really unbeatable Pretty much because what I saw is that now he's trying to incorporate the little subtle, that little subtle movement he does. He's kind of thinking he's going to offset fighters or Ortiz with that subtle boom, 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 boom. Like he like that's a new thing for him. And I'm like, it's not what you do it's how you do it. OK, you got that, but you don't know how to use it correctly. You know what I'm saying? So. I think his trainer is just kind of like sitting for a check. You know what I mean? He's not really trying to make Wilder better, which I don't, I don't really feel. Because if you do what you're supposed to do as a trainer and help your fighter progress, meaning, you know, show him how to use his jab more to set up his left hook or use his jab to set up his right hand, I mean, I, I believe Wilder's jab would be just as much as dangerous as his right hand if he were to use it properly and often. I actually believe that, but he doesn't. And I think the reason why he doesn't is because his trainer don't, you know, he don't enforce that. And I feel that is a discredit to him as a fighter. You're supposed to want to be better. And you don't want to be in a place where you look back at your career and say, oh, man, if I would have worked on my jab more, if I would have jabbed more in that fight, but I didn't jab in my camp. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that guy. And I really feel like his training is a discredit because when I looked at the dude holding mitts for him, especially the black dude, 
Look at that video. Shout out Boxing Voice, man. Subscribe to that channel, man. That the video is on there. They has he has some dude that's awesome. Black guy. The black guy that's always holding Mitch for Wilder. He was holding Mitch for him for this media session, and it was like he was scared of him. And the thing is, the people that's holding Mitch for him, well, not the people, the dude that was holding Mitch for him, because uh, his head trainer, the white boy that was holding Mitch for him, was actually telling him what to throw. And kind of went, you know, kind of faint and all that shit. He was t actually doing that, but the black dude wasn't doing that. He was just kind of just like letting Wilder just do him. Bad idea. Never let nobody just go ham on you when you hold the mitts. When you're holding the mitts, you are in control of that whole situation. You don't just let somebody just come in and start. Nah, you got, he had you fucked up, dog. Wilder had you fucked up. Cause I wouldn't have that shit. You ain't finna just come and be punching on the fuck wrong with you. Hell no, you accidentally slip, hit me, drop me, we really finna choke him. It's gonna be an issue. But anyway, I saw that, and it was like, and then his training, his mitt work is not, it's not really intense mitt work. It's not really hard mitt work. It's kind of just basic little shit. He just basically just do the jab, jab in the right hand, and the left hook. He might sneak an uppercut in there, here or there, and all he was doing was really just showing, doing little fancy little shit. And the thing is, it's easy to do that when you got, when you ain't worked hella hard, when you ain't trained hella hard. It's easy. You know, mitt work is work. Look at Floyd Mayweather's mitt work. Look at Errol Spence's mitt work. Look at Anthony Yard's mitt work. Look at, um, look at Gabe Rosado's mitt work when, um, um, Fernando Vargas is holding mitts for him. Um, Shit, uh, look at Kel Brooks' mitt work. You know what I'm saying? Look at the Charlo brothers on the mitts. Like, look at the actual mitt work and look at how they are after they're finished with the mitt work. They might not be hella tired, but they're dripping. They're soaked. They're drenched in sweat because they working. They're putting in work doing that shit. When you see Wilder, he ain't drenched in sweat. He got a little here, a little there. Look like he probably ran down the street a little bit and on a hot day in Alabama. So he not... And I know y'all gonna say, yeah, he this and this, like, because he, for one, and that was another thing. There was another video that he did where he said he don't run, he don't do that, he just swim. Well, I just saw a video via Instagram that he was running sprints. So, I feel like the reason why Wilder ain't got as good as he should be is because his trainer suck. His trainer ain't that great. I mean, he's probably, and the thing is, and that's another thing people fail to realize too, you know, is that just because you are a good trainer, that don't mean you a good fit for that fighter. Because there are, that, that, that trainer that Wilder got might be the perfect fit for him. Literally, like they might have, get along well, good chemistry, they have a good work ethic together, you know what I'm saying? Like they cool. Versus me, I'm military. I'm waking your ass up five, six in the morning. And we running. We, you know what I'm saying? We going old school backyard, junkyard dog boxing. You know, and I don't think Wilder is doing that. You know, so, I mean, my prediction for Saturday, man, based on what I'm seeing, it's going to be a great fight. Somebody going to sleep. I know a lot of y'all going to say Ortiz, but I'm going with Ortiz to win the fight. Because Wilder still don't got the skill level to kind of go with somebody like that. And if Ortiz come in the way he's supposed to, it's going to be something that Wilder's never seen before. So, um, I mean, it's one thing to say something, but it's another thing when you're in there with him. And I really think that Ortiz is going to show Wilder something that he ain't seen and that he wasn't really prepared for because he underestimated him because he overestimates himself. And that's because of... What he does and his training and his camp, his whole team. So, I mean, I still say Wilder, get your shit together. Um, I still say Wilder, you need a better trainer. Um, but other than that, until then, I'm going to say what I'm going to say on Wilder. I'm going to feel how I'm going to feel about Wilder. And that's just what it's going to be. You already know what it is. It's your boy. DT3. New Media notification game god squad it's what it is i'll let your boy subscribe to the channel like the video hit the bell icon so every time i drop a video you'll be notified with this hot shit shout out to the boxing voice shout out to fight hub tv 
Shout out to ES News. Subscribe to their channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time they hit y'all with some hot shit. When I come at y'all, it's facts. It's not my opinion. It's not somebody else. It's a factual thing. When you see something more than three times, it's usually the truth. If you hear something more than three times, it's the truth. It's your boy. 100.